Hello everybody and welcome to Chrono Plays in the Real World. Today I'm going to be doing a first for me, not for the first for pretty much anybody else in existence, but the first for me, I'm going to be doing Loot Crate. Yes, I'm jumping on that bandwagon. Why am I doing that? Well, for two reasons mostly. One, because this will push me to actually output videos. I mean, yeah, okay, I know the YouTube thing is kind of falling apart, advertisement money is, like, dying, um, and it doesn't help with the whole controversy about the YouTube videos with ads that kind of push people to malware-infested websites. Yeah, that doesn't help. Uh, but it's a hobby of mine, and I should be just as dedicated to it as I would if I was actually being paid for it. The second reason actually came to me sometime last month, and this is the important reason. I just want to point that out. This is the reason I'm doing that, not because of the YouTube or hobby thing or anything. This is why I'm doing it. Last month, I got a package on my doorstep. Don't remember what it was. Don't Didn't remember buying it or anything like that. It was just this box made out to me on my doorstep. And I'm like, ooh, I got a box. I wonder what's inside. And then you get the excitement inside, you know, the excitement that you get when you're a kid and it's Christmas Day, that kind of thing, and you don't know what's in the box, that kind of thing. And then I had an idea. I'm like, you know, there was an XKCD comic about doing that, about somebody writing up a program that took like 5 or $10 at, into a PayPal account, went onto eBay and bought something random for that price and shipped it off. So every month this guy would get a random thing. Sometimes it would be useful, sometimes it would be worthless. But it would be a thing. It would be just this exciting thing that you didn't know what it was. So I'm like, I wish somebody would make that. And then I realized somebody did. It cost more than 10 bucks a month, but they made that, and this is that. And it's specifically for geeks, apparently. Now, I've been watching a couple... I've been watching a bunch of people do Loot Crate videos, and uh, I actually signed up under pause on pauses so like he gets money off of his next month well this month technically because i bought this was it well actually i have no idea how loot crate works but yeah he got five bucks off of it because he signed up for it uh loot crate is 25 dollars us with shipping at least for me anyways that's how much it was um that's per month you can actually buy them on like three months and yearly basis or something like that. I actually don't remember the statistics. And for each individual month, obviously it costs less if you buy them in bulk, but I didn't do that. I just bought them monthly. That way, if I don't want to do it anymore, I can just cancel it and not have to worry about it. Plus 25 bucks a month. Isn't that expensive for me? I mean, it's a considerable amount of money, but uh, it's not that much. So I'll accept it. Well, yeah, I'll accept it for the excitement. Ooh, I got a new box. Um, now this box didn't show up on my doorstep. I was actually quite disappointed how it came. It came via USPS and our mailman does not like getting out of his truck. So I've got one of them, you know, mailboxes on a pole out on the other side of my, uh, front yard. I found this sitting on top of the mailbox this morning. Now, I didn't see it last yesterday, so this sat on top of my mailbox overnight in a rainstorm. So this box is all squishy. It's dried out since then, but it's all squishy, and it was all wet, and, you know, uh, yeah. Um, I don't like USPS for shipping packages. Mail's fine. Packages, not so much. It's because my mailman is lazy. But, you know... C'est la vie, and that kind of thing. I would hope that Loot Crate takes that in mind when they're building their packaging, so I hope it's not a problem. I guess I will find out. And let's actually get to it, since it's just been a picture of the Loot Crate box since then. So let's actually open this thing for the first time. And I haven't opened it yet. The only thing I've done is cut the uh, cello tape, just so I didn't have to whip out the knife at the beginning. So let's take a look at this thing. wrench o -rama. Re Wrench. Like, vomiting kind of wrench or something? Uh, obviously, this is a Halloween thing. Um, as you can tell from the zombies trying to smash in the door. I would point out that since it says closed on this side, that means the other side says open. So the zombies are just trying to get in. I mean, it's advertised as open. 
Uh, we see the lot, giant Lego head from Dead Rise or Dead Rising. Was that Dead Rising? Oh crap! I forget the name of that game now. It's that one where you're in the mall and you're killing all the zombies and a crap like that. It's that game. I think it's Dead Rising. All right. Anyways, so let's get to it. I've got a shirt with a bunch of inverted cats. I'm sorry. What? Inverted cats. Okay, is is inverting things supposed to be creepy? Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. Hang on, I'm trying to unfold it so you guys can see, but I understand. Okay, it's a bunch of cats, inverted, in the shape of a skull. Okay, that's weird. Hang on, let me make sure this is actually getting on film properly. Yes, it is, kind of. Okay, that is weird. I need to wear this next time I go to my sister's place. She loves cats. She'll find that hilarious. <laughs> okay, so that's an interesting shirt type thing. I'm interested in what this is. Okay, it's an interesting box. It's got coffee splatter. I guess it's supposed to be blood, but it looks dark. And there's a coffee cup, so it's like it, it is coffee splatter. <laughs> okay, Dead Rising 3. I do not have this game. Uh, apparently, it's a Loot Crate exclusive. I have Dead Rising 2. I actually had a pen. That was one of those Zombrex uh, needles. I broke it. I used it too much and I broke it. Yes, I actually used the hell out of that pen. It actually worked too. It worked very well until it literally flew apart on me. Cut up some tape here with a knife that's quite literally older than most of the people that are probably watching this video. Uh, let's see. Hanks? Hanks something? No, Shanks. Okay. And then it's got... Some triple X thing? Yes. <laughs> it's a neon sign that says Annie's Old Fashioned Triple X Supplies. <laughs> okay, I may be blurring this out depending on what's in this box. <laughs> uh, but that would be awesome if that actually was something weird like that. All right, here we go. It is... Oh, I get it. It's a sledgehammer chain, or it's a sledgehammer saw thing. It's one of those combine weapons that you can do in Dead Rising 3. I don't have the game. I just know about the game. This is actually really nice. Um, what is this made out of? It feels like a really weird type of plastic. Very well detailed. We got blood splatter on the, on the handsaw here. A giant freaking handsaw. Um, it actually looks really nice. If, like, I don't know what kind of plastic this is made out of, and I'm not even 100% sure it's made out of plastic. I would assume it is, but it doesn't feel like it. Uh, that's really strange. But this looks interesting, and I love how there's so much freaking padding for this thing, so I would imagine it's kind of not very sturdy. It feels fine. You know what it does feel like? I know exactly what it feels like. It feels like it was made out of the same exact wood as a number two pencil. Like it, like it, like in uh, high school? Yeah, that's what it feels like. It actually feels like it's made out of wood, and the wood is painted. Which would actually be really awesome. They put some effort into that one. I like that. That is really nice. All right, let's set you aside. <sighs> Okay, so we got some uh, Doctor Who glasses, some 3D glasses. That's interesting. They look a little scuffed. Is that supposed to be scuffed? I can't tell. I can't tell if they're supposed to be scuffed or not. But yeah, these are, uh, what are they called? Um, chromatic 3D glasses or something like that. Mostly made popular recently by uh, Doctor Who, but these were originally used in the... 80s maybe ish for 3d movies so basically you would have two images on the screen one would be primarily red one would be primarily blue the blue would be blocked out by this one and the red would be blocked out by this one so each eye would be getting a different image and it would be 3d it's pretty neat so there's probably something 3d further in here so let's take a look at that uh we got our loot crate badge october 2014 fear this is the fear-based loot crate 
Come on, autofocus. Yeah, I don't think autofocus is going to work. Come on. There we go. There's a nice picture. All right, so standard badge. Survival 714, official guide to staying alive. How to survive a Sharknado. I was actually kind of hoping it was a zombie survival guide, but it's apparently surviving a Sharknado. Oh my god, it's actually a survival guide. Oh, that's crazy. I'm going to have to read that. By Andrew Schaefer. With contributions by Finn Shepard and April Wexler. Are those real authors or was that a joke? Probably actually real authors. It's just a coincidence that this guy's named Finn. That's pretty nice. Sharks are flying at your head at 300 miles per hour. How would you survive? You know, I have never seen Sharknado. It's, uh, I always qualified it as a Siffy B movie, and I just kind of never bothered. Um, I might have to put effort into that, so well, let's check that out later. Oh, brother. A uh, zombie thing that I don't recognize. Oh, is that like Chibi Dead Rising? Oh, am I spoiling something <laughs> in Dead Rising Season 5? <laughs> Or possibly season four that I never actually watched. Because I get it now. That's Merle and that's Daryl from Dead Rising. And I never watched season four. I think I watched like the first episode. I wonder if that's that. Um, spoiler warning possibly, I guess. I don't know. Or possibly it's foreshadowing. I don't know. That's actually one of the interesting things about Dead Rising. Is chances are everybody's going to die at some point. Uh, let's see. Fake slashes and bites so basically standard zombie cosplay type thing temporary tattoos ah i see i thought they were just stickers cut out tattoos skin should be clean blah 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 nah i never did temporary tattoos never liked it there's a thing from curse uh curse voice fast free voice communications for gamers battleground of the gods smite Unlock Santos and exclusive Jack the Ripper skin from Battleground of the Gods Smite. I don't know this game. I don't know of this game. But hey, if you're paying attention to this and you want Santos and the, the Jack the Ripper skin, there you go. The first one to get it gets it. Rock on. Uh, then we got a oh hey this is where the 3d comes in this is what i was telling you about about there's basically two images one that's primarily blue and one that's primarily red you put on the 3d glasses and then once cut off um it's obviously not going to work very well actually probably completely fucked with the image there but uh yeah this is all the stuff that's in the loot crate you know the standard magazine thing that Pretty much primarily I've seen is that people wish that this wasn't put in the loot crate and it was just a digital thing you can go on their website for and they would take the money that they spent on this and they would put it into more cool stuff on there. But that's personal preference. I actually don't mind it. Um, then I've got hazardously sour candy. Nope. And a Walking Dead comic book. This is what the TV show is based off of. At least I think it's a comic book. It looks like a comic book. Uh, let's open this bastard up and find out. Come on. Is it a Loot Crate exclusive? I would assume so, since the zombie has a Loot Crate shirt that's all torn up. Yeah, a Loot Crate exclusive, yes. All right. Let's open this guy up and see if there's anything interesting in it. Cardboard. Boop. Yeah, just standard... Zombie comics and stuff like that. Eh, I'll have to read that. I don't know. I like comics. I like owning comics. I have a bunch of comic books. They're pretty cool. And I think that's the bottom of it. Yeah, we got uh, basically Dead Rising 3. All kinds of stuff with the zombies trying to get in. The open door. Uh, we got our standard you know, loot crate. Share. There's no tips for... A perfect unboxing on here. Oh, I guess there are. Document, share, enjoy. 
And then, of course, the standard Konami code that's going to be hidden everywhere. They should make that like a secret. Like, you have to go hunting for the Konami code instead of just putting it right out there. They should put it in every single one like they normally do. They should just hide it somewhere. Like the bunny in Playboy. You have to go find it. That would be cool. I like that. All right, so um, what, would I, what do I have to say about this? Well, like I said, it's 25 bucks plus shipping. I would point out that this here, the this right here, as a collector's item, would probably be worth 10 bucks in and of itself because, you know, collector's items are always too bloody expensive. The shirt, I mean, that shirt is 15 guaranteed at least. So is it worth it? At least this month, I'd have to say it is. And that's actually a pretty awesome shirt. I'm definitely going to wear it. It's a very, very thin shirt. So if... Oh, holy crap, it's two layers. I can see straight through it. This is an extremely thin shirt. Of course, it would still cost 15 bucks. Um, so yeah, if you're of the female persuasion or... Well, you know what? If you are anybody, I recommend wearing an undershirt. <laughs> Because, this, like I said, this is an extremely thin shirt. But it's actually a pretty awesome shirt. I'm definitely going to wear that. My sister's going to be begging me for it, I guess. I would I would guess. So, yes. Uh, so, from me, I will say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game and have a happy Halloween.